I'm Shahadi Ray Joseph, and thank you so much for watching Hollywire. What's up, Hollywire? We are hanging out with Shahadi Wright Joseph. Hi. Okay, so we're gonna play the Holly Words game. Ooh, superpowers. Ooh, I think um, time traveling and invisibility. <laughs> That's a good one. You, you know who your friend um, Aubrey Joseph said he'd like to be invisible as well. Seriously? Yeah, but he's he wants to go spy on like sports teams and like see what their plays are gonna be. Yeah. 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 That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, collab, dream collab. Ooh, but maybe I would definitely want to work with Spike Lee one day. You know, he's he seems like he's such a great director, and his cinematography is like iconic. So <laughs> awesome! All right, let's do it one more time. Okay, she's got the good spins. Yeah. Okay, most embarrassing moment. Oh my god. Okay, so I was on the train one time, and I was reading, I was reading a book, and then. I was yawning and I was going to cover my mouth, but then like, I think that my saliva glands activated and it like, sp I spit out like <laughs> onto my book and I was so embarrassed. I don't, oof, I, I, it was just, I couldn't deal with it. Some quick logistics. Were you with anyone or are you by yourself? No, I, I was by myself. <laughs> yeah. Was it a busy train ride? Yeah, it was, it was kind of busy. Um, okay, so The Lion King. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's so cool. <laughs> Thank How you. How exciting is that? I'm so excited. I think yeah. that you guys are going to really love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're the voice of young Nala. Mm -hmm. um, who is the voice of the older Nala? Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce, that is so cool. Yeah. First of all, it's so cool that you guys have, like, you're in the same voice genre. Do you sing? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I do, I do. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. And um, unfortunately, I didn't actually get to meet her. I didn't get to meet Beyonce. But, you know, hopefully, I, I'm pretty sure that we will meet at, like, the opening. Um, and I hope to work with her in the future. Okay, did you watch the original The Lion King? Yes, that, that was, like, one of my favorite movies when I was younger. Yeah, mm -hmm. what, do you have a favorite scene? But I love Just Can't Wait to Be King because it's, like, so much fun. And there's, you know, so much energy and so many animals around them. It just... It was like my dream. <laughs> uh, what was your favorite scene to voiceover film? I think that it was kind of like the same. It was kind of like the same scene. I think Just Can't Wait to Be King because like I got to bring, I got to bring some of that, uh, some of those like cool things from, you know, the old movie and on Broadway. And I got to bring it, you know, into voiceover. So I kind of had like some training <laughs> when I was like really young to, um, to practice for, you know, the brand new Lion King. And also with us. Oh, yes. <laughs> very, very cool. Um, yeah. What was it like being directed by Jordan Peele? Jordan Peele, he's he's such a professional director. And he, he was so clear about how he wanted the characters, you know, to be portrayed on screen. So it was it was really easy working with him. Um, and he is a lot of fun to be around. <laughs> was it ever scary on set? No, it wasn't because, you know, you've created this great relationship with the cast. So you're not really seeing them as these evil, you know, the, the, the tethered. You're seeing them as, you know, your, your friends, kind of. But, you know, I think that Lupita mostly scared me the most because she was so in it um, uh, at times that I was like, that's kind of creepy. You're kind of scaring me a little bit. <laughs> what was it like working with her? And the whole cast is so incredibly talented and amazing. Right, yeah, it was, it was great working with such great, uh, such talented actresses and actors um, and I think that I've learned a lot from them you know I've learned a lot about method acting and just by being around them I've learned uh, you know a lot about their personalities and I definitely want to work with them in the future. Is there any like a memorable or standout either standout moment or a really funny moment something that happened on set because it is kind of like a scary genre. I don't want to. I don't want to give any spoilers away. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> but when, there was one time when we were um, doing the breakfast scene um, when we just came in for uh, to Santa Cruz, and we were just eating breakfast and we were doing our lines. But then you know it actually turned into a real conversation, <laughs> and it really made us feel like we were a real family. And I think that that's really what brought. Um, you know, all of those happy scenes together. Okay, thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great time in South by. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys, and be sure to watch the next video.